fairly straightforward. A lot of you have done grade 10, grade 11. Uh, you might be doing grade 12 FNs functions concurrently, but it's very doable. So number one, uh, simplify the following expression. Uh, all we're doing is we're expanding this, right? So if you pretend two times vector a is just two a, like you did in the past, then that's how you do it. So you write down two a plus two a plus four b minus six a plus three b. Again, here comes the final answer. We're gonna collect like terms. With a lot of practice, you can do all this mentally. I'm still gonna circle them for you so you can see exactly where these answers came from. So two plus two minus six is negative two, A. Likewise, if you look at four plus three, that's gonna give you seven. So the final answer is gonna be negative two A plus seven B. Let's keep going. Example number two. Uh, given x equals to i minus j plus k, y equals to j minus k, and z equal to i minus k, determine each of the following in terms of i, j, and k. So, step one. x plus y equals to i minus j plus k plus j minus k. So again, just to be clear, x is right here. y is right here. So now when you collect like terms, this gives you, let's cross them out first. So positive and negative j, you can cross them out. Positive and negative k, you can cross them out. So the final answer is going to be i. Now I do want to show you the same example in a different notation. I'll just draw a line here to divide them into two different columns. You can also think about x, y, and z in terms of, so x equals to 1, negative 1, and 1. All right, so you can put them in coordinate form. Uh, you can think of y in terms of 0, 1, and negative 1. Right? So now what happens is if you're still adding it, x plus y, you should get the same thing, right? And uh, x plus y equals to, so notice what I'm doing here, I'm just adding 1 with 0, um, which equals to 1, negative 1 plus 1 will give you 0, and 1 plus negative 1 will give you 0 again, and if you circle back to the first answer, 1 is the same as 1, 0, 0, right, because i is the same as i uh, plus 0j plus 0k. Part B, x minus y. So again, I'm just going to go back to the first method for now. I'm going to copy x. That's going to be i minus j plus k minus, don't forget the brackets, j minus k. Here comes the final answer. A little bit of mental math. i, you copy. Negative j minus j would be negative 2j. k minus negative k is k plus k. So it's going to be 2k, just like that. OK, let's keep going. Part C, 2x plus y minus z. So again, this is going to be 2 times i minus j plus k plus j minus k minus, don't forget brackets, i minus k. So again, I'm just copying from the top. Right, so I want to make sure that you can follow all these steps. X is from the given. Y, that's from the given. And now we're using uh, Z, which is I minus K. Again, let's break this down to two steps. Uh, some with a lot of uh, practice, you can mentally see this, and you can say that the final answer is going to be I minus J plus 2K. But I do want to add in that step, just to make sure no students left behind. So when expanding this, that's going to be 2i minus 2j plus 2k plus j minus k minus i plus k. Don't forget, right, it's plus k. Negative times negative is positive, so plus k. Here comes the final answer. If you think about 2i minus i, that's going to be i. 
So I'm going to cross these two terms to stay organized. Negative 2j plus j is going to give you negative j. 2k plus k minus k is going to be 2k. And that's the final answer. Now, for example three, it's a thinking problem from the textbook. So we'll show what the question looks like. Uh, I'm hoping you'll press pause, spend five minutes, try it, and when you press play again, I'll be right here. So press pause, five minutes, and when you're ready, press play again. Okay, so for number nine, on page 307, the question says, if 2x plus 3y equals to a, and negative x plus 5y equals to 6b, express x and y in terms of a and b. So even though it's a thinking question, you can do this. The most important part is the mechanical steps. So make sure when you're collecting like terms, you're copying and pasting correctly, and all your mental math is good. So I'm just going to copy this first. So step one, I'm copying 2x plus 3y equals to a. I'm going to call this equation number one. Negative x plus 5y equals to 6b. I'm going to call this equation number two. Now my goals express this in terms of a and b. So there are a couple ways of doing this. I'm just going to show you one method. If you have a slightly different method that works, that's perfectly fine. So my goal is to multiply the second equation by two so I can eliminate x. So for equation number one, I'm just going to copy this as is. And for equation number two, I'm going to multiply everything by two. So what happens is I get negative 2x plus 10y equal to 12b. And if you want, you can call this equation number three. You can call it 2a. It doesn't really matter. And now my goal is to eliminate x. This goes back to grade 10 math. Opposite means you're adding. And when you add them, you get 13y on the left-hand side. And on the right, you get a plus 12b. So now y equals 2. And again, the opposite of multiplying by 13 is to divide by 13. Let's write that down which means y equals to a plus 12b divided by 13. Let's keep going. To find x, again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this answer and plug it back in. And you can plug it back into number 1, number 2, number 3. It doesn't really make a difference, right? Uh, but sometimes 1 is slightly faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take equation number 2. So I'm going to sub this answer, right, back into number 2. Now, as I'm plugging it back into number 2, I'm also doing a little bit of mental math. So hope you're with me. When I look at number 2, first I isolate for x. So what happens is I'm copying 5y. I bring 6b to the left-hand side. That becomes negative 6b. And I bring negative x to the right. So I'm just going to write this one more time just in reverse uh, order before we plug it in. So now what happens is x equals to 5 times a plus 12b divided by 13 minus 6b. Now this is the part you want to be careful for. A lot of students, they forget the uh, mechanical steps or they make a mistake as they're doing it mentally and they don't get 100%. And you can totally get 100%. Just do this one step at a time. Now to combine this, I need to find a common denominator. So I can make this over 1 first of all. And the common denominator for 13 and 1 is going to be 13. So I multiply the second part by 13 over 13, which means effectively I'm multiplying it by 1, and I don't change the value. Now again, draw these arrows. If the arrows are meaningful to you, draw them. Even in grade 12, it's perfectly fine. So when you expand this, this would give you 5a plus 60b minus 78b. Here comes the final answer. 5a minus 18b divided by 13. 
I hope this makes sense.